I'm going to show you guys my favorite quick and easy way to migrate WordPress websites to new hosts and new domains. Over the last 10 years, I have done hundreds, if not thousands of migrations, probably thousands, and tested all the different plugins out there. Some of them work good, but there's little issues that come up and they don't work 100% of the time. This method is my favorite, most consistent, and it's the one that I use most and have for the last few years, aside for the times when I've tried other plugins just to see if they work. So real quick cut in here, we're going to be working with a large website because that's typically when you run into the problems on the migrations are with the very large websites. This is my local home service company website, and this thing is about two and a half gigabytes in size. It is a bear to move around, a bear to migrate, and this is the one I'm gonna be showing you, and this process works incredibly well with this website and other large websites. Now let's jump back to it. Uh, let me talk about the process here and let me cover exactly what we're going to do here in the step-by-step -step process. Uh, let me pull up my handy little whiteboard feature here so you know what we, where we're going with this before we jump into it. And why is my whiteboard not working? It should work now. Um, how to migrate a WordPress website. I'm going to break these down and go step by step. Let's change this to a better color. I don't really like the purple. That looks a little better. And we'll make the text a 24 large because we really don't have much else to put on here. All right. First thing we're going to do is update our current website core. Number two, uh, install the all-in-one migration plugin. Number three, we'll take a backup using the plugin and then download it. And then it'll be time to switch the DNS, switch your DNS, point to the new site uh, and install new WordPress. Then number four, uh, install the all-in-one migration. I'm going to abbreviate this all-in-one migration. I don't, I don't know if that's the official uh, one on the new site. Number uh, five, actually switch DNS um, and install new WordPress. Yeah, we'll leave that as that. And then number six, number five, uh, restore your backup. And number six is really just check. And I think I'm gonna make a second, separate video of what I check um, on these. So let's jump into it and do it here. Uh, first thing, you're probably looking at this all-in-one migration plugin going, what is that uh, and how much does it cost? It is free for up to 512 megabyte site. So if you've got a smaller site, it works. Uh, if you have a larger site, you do need to pay $69. That said, the $69 is for a lifetime. I paid this three years ago, and it has been the best $69 I have ever spent. You will see why. So if you're on a smaller WordPress site, $512. Um, if you're on bigger WordPress website, like the site I'm about to migrate here is roughly two gigabytes. So this is a pretty big site here. So we're gonna go through and cover how to do that. It's incredibly simple, right? So without any more chit chat, I guess let's just go into the WordPress install at this point. So here we are in the WordPress install. Number one is update the WordPress core. Well, a lot, and here's why. A lot of times uh, there's differences between the plugins that are installed or the variation that gets migrated from the old site to the new site. So I find it most convenient It'll still work, but it, it, you, there might be some bugs. So most convenient and the best way of avoiding problems is updating your WordPress core. Now, I'm already on the latest WordPress website, as you can see here. But one thing we need to notice is my all-in-one migration plugin is not updated. So if you're just installing the all-in-one migration plugin, well, it's updated, right? When you install it, it's new. But in my case, it's not new. So I'm gonna go ahead and update my all-in-one migration plugin. So I'd like to have the core updated because the new site you're going to is gonna have the newest WordPress core in it. And then my all-in-one migration plugin updated. So there we go, okay? Now, if you don't have that all-in-one migration plugin, now would be the time to install it. You just go plugins, 
add new right there. And then you'll get this all in one migration plugin. Now, if you don't pay the $69, you won't have this FTP setting. So with FTP, I can literally pass the file to the new site or to an offsite storage without having to download it. And by purchasing that FTP extension or the unlimited extension here, uh, you remove that 512 megabytes. So you install that like a plugin too, and then it pops up right here, which I've already done. Next up, what we want to do here is export. All right. And at this point, we're going to come in here, click export to, and then file, All right? So it's going to run. And what we're doing here is taking the backup uh, using plugin and downloading. So another way you could have done this is could have came in there and went, here, let me just open this up in a new tab while it's running. And it's going to take some time because this is a, lar a large site. I'm probably going to have to kind of fast forward through this. Um, copy. There we go. Let's see if I can write to it there. So rather than doing the export feature, I could have surprise. This is not loading at the moment, possibly because I'm doing this from a very low budget shared server. Ah, there we go. Um, so all in one migrations, you could have just done backups as well. Right. And then click create backup and then come right here to where it's download. So this is loading or not loading, but running and making the backup. I'm going to stop right here and kind of fast forward it. It'll take a couple minutes. Boom. We are done. Probably took about 10 minutes for the plugin to run on this large site here, which you see is two gigabytes. Now we need to download it and get this onto our computer. And here we go, mine has started. I'm on pretty fast internet, so it shouldn't take too long, but I'm still gonna speed up the video here. Now the site file is downloaded. We can see the plugin file downloaded here. It's living on my computer now. So we can go on to the next step, which is switching your DNS and installing new WordPress. So update your DNS to point to your new WordPress host and then install WordPress on that host. Here's my new WordPress install, clean WordPress install on a new server. I didn't update my domain names. I'm not changing them, uh, you know, for this video, but the process is still exactly the same. And fundamentally, the domain name will have to be changed within the WordPress migration itself to what it is here on my new Cloudways server, right? So first thing we're going to do is install that all in one migration plugin. We're going to go add new and then we'll search for it. Boom, there it is. We'll see it on the left over here. And then we wanna to go to import. Now notice this right here, maximum upload file size, three gigabytes. This file size limit is controlled by your server settings or your WordPress settings. So in some cases you might get here and you might see that you have a 10 megabyte limit or something really low. In that case, you need to follow the instructions here. And if this stuff, the first two steps, look incredibly confusing to you and you're like bamboozled by it, then just go right to number three. And if you're using a good hosting provider, I recommend A2 hosting for shared on a low budget option. Uh, still a good low budget option beyond that is Cloudways, a little bit more than A2, but it is true VPS. You do have to pay a little bit more money for it, but still for what you're getting in the price, it's still a good value there. Either one of those two hosting providers, if you say, hey, I'm trying to run this plugin and it's saying that I've got a limit of 10 megabytes and here's the link, uh, they'll certainly go in and make these adjustments for you so that you can go ahead and run this plugin. Now, uh, as I said in the beginning, this plugin all in one migration does limit you to 512 megabytes on import. I believe I'm going to import a site a lot larger than that 2.25 gigabytes, I believe. So what I'm going to do is come here to plugins and add new. I'm going to add my FTP extension. I'm going to go upload plugin and then choose file here. And there it is. And install it. And then activate it. 
and then come back here and you can see I got the FTP thing right there. And then when I come to import maximum file upload size unlimited. So at this point, it's just a matter of selecting and dropping that WordPress file, the last backup file into it. And I did not mean to do that. So let's drag it, drop it in there. And now it's a 2.25 gig file. So it's gonna take some time, right? Uh, 0.23. 0.47, okay, so it seems like it's going to be good. Just leave this tab open and hurry up and wait at that point. Boom, the import is done. You can see it on my screen. Now here's kind of the final warning notice saying that, hey, when we proceed, this is going to overwrite everything on the website. So the import's complete. Let's click this proceed button and then it's gonna run. We might need to do some fast forwarding here. So it's gonna go ahead and restore. I'm gonna fast forward past this part, but it's pretty quick. All right, your site has been successfully imported. Um, let's click finish and see what we got. Nothing exciting yet. I'm gonna click visit site. And then I'm gonna come here. Okay, so it's logged me out because it's got a new database. But there is my live website. That's a copy of, uh, well, if we go out of this window, we go to gulfcoastaluminum.com. Right here, that looks exactly the same. Uh, everything looks good on that side. And I can just log into the back end. Let me grab my password for this real quick. Right there, everything looks good on the back end and on the front end, everything looks great. So that's how you migrate a large WordPress website with ease. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, like this video, click subscribe on the YouTube player. Even if you don't wanna subscribe, just give me a like on the video. Uh, and if you want more marketing insights and WordPress knowledge, like what you've seen in this video here, look for the link to my Facebook group, the No Bullshit Marketing Facebook group. Guys, that's a wrap on this one. Hope you found it helpful. I'm signing off.